Hello everyone, this is Akaima. Welcome back to some more World of Warships and today we are taking out the Tier 7 British Premium Cruiser, the Belfast. And yes, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I finally had the funds where I could actually get a new ship and I decided to get Belfast because as you know, I'm a big fan of the British cruisers and I want always wanted to get a British cruiser that could also better yet a british ship that could help with my captains and this is the ship that i got uh we are currently playing on estuaries we have a independence dunkirk new york belfast cleveland galley uh hsf graspe omaha two emil burtons a konigsberg and a mutsuki on the enemy team there is a independence warspite konig congo pensacola galley hsf graspe Emerald, Emil Burton, Konigsberg, Fabuki, and Heyman and Kaze. Uh, one little uh, thing I will have to uh, kind of point out right here. Uh, keep an eye on the enemy uh, CV. Uh, he's going to do something ra something odd, something funny and unusual. Uh, so we are on the western hand side of the map. We do have a friendly Konigsberg that is being extremely ballsy right now. Uh, he's just pushing all the way down south, just being extremely ballsy. And of course, he is instantly spotted and is now coming under fire uh, from the entire enemy team. Now, the Belfast is unusual, I guess you could say, against compared to the other British cruisers. She does have HE, and her HE is pretty decent. Uh, her AP is very similar to the AP that you see in British cruisers, but still HE has the fire chance and Savo Al against Emil Bertin and let's see if we can actually get a citadel on this Emil Bertin. The AP is pretty decent. Uh, looks like the Minikaze has dropped torpedoes. Uh, I actually did not realize there was a Minikaze there until like the last moment. Yeah, there are the torpedoes. Gonna go ahead and open up and we got two citadels right there. Uh, like I said, the AP is pretty decent, uh, especially against a very uh, flimsy cruiser like the Emil Burton. Uh, the Belfast does have the use of the, the radar, uh, which does have around eight and a half kilometers. It's very, very similar to her detection. And I probably should go ahead and point out that I do run my Neptune captain. Uh, my Neptune captain is the one I'm currently trying to work on. Um, trying to get him up to the standard of my Minotaur because my Minotaur was the one that I have always had for a long time. And since I've kept my Neptune, I am going to try to get my captain on my Neptune uh, up to standards. And this poor galley. Oh, look at that. Gets probably citadeled and takes a torpedo which is highly unfortunate. Uh, so char characteristics of the uh, Belfast is very, very similar to uh, how all British cruisers play. And obvious exception is the fact that she does have radar. She does not have a heal, nor does she have the torpedo armament. And did I, did I mention she does have HE, which does allow you that fire chance. And oh, looky. Looky, there is the enemy independence just barreling north straight to the enemy cap. He will take it down. He himself will cap us out. Yeah, don't exactly know why or what is wrong with this uh, captain, but I think he's a bot. I don't know. Something tells me he's a bot. He hasn't lost any planes and instead is just barreling uh, right for our cap and is going to go down. And of course, as everyone sees a CV, it's like, mine, mine. I will never do that again. Uh, so go ahead and switch my attention over that Congo. Uh, he is burning quite nicely. Uh, our smoke is going to eventually start to dissipate here in just a moment. Uh, but want to get a few more salvos off uh, before it finally disappears and looks like the friendly Omaha actually took him out good job uh, so yep time to move time to continue pushing outward now our friendly team are kind of lemming training and I don't know why but it actually kind of works for us because uh, we only have a Mutsuki I believe one cruiser uh, was on the western side of the map 
but for whatever reason, the enemy t team don't take advantage of that, probably due to the fact that the majority of our forces are on the western side of the map. And really just do have to be careful of your positioning. Uh, try to stay out of uh, line of sight as much as possible uh, since she is or does have the British armor, uh, you don't want to be showing a lot of broadside and she does not have the heels so you do have to be careful about that. Now Conningsbury is switching uh, out west and is showing us a little bit more of a broadside. And let's try AP. Let's see what AP does against a semi uh, broadside Konigsberg. There we go, Citadel and enemy Minikaze. Now the AP feels, well, I mean, we got some damage roll there, but it feels kind of lackluster whenever you're firing against a destroyer. And maybe it's because they run normal AP and it's not the semi AP rounds that the British cruisers have. Don't really know. Uh, I do go ahead and pop my radar, hopefully to take out this enemy Minikaze. That would definitely get us an advantage, and there we go. We just killed our very first ship, and can we get this Minikaze? Uh, unfortunately not. The Cleveland does take out the enemy Minikaze, but that is one less destroyer we have to worry about. That we have to worry about, and so instead I'm going to go ahead and push outward, uh, continue pushing this line. Our friendly CV is... is playing actually semi-smartly he's actually pushing up with the team uh his planes are obviously getting back to the ship quicker and quicker and here i i'm playing hyper aggressive right now um i'm trying to go for the minikaze smoke uh hoping to use that smoke instead of using my own uh but yes there is a enemy conig uh seven and a half kilometers away and we've attracted his attention oh good lord uh, that could have went a lot worse than that, but now realize obviously the enemy Minikaze smoke is dissipating, so I'm going to go ahead, slow up, and drop my own, um, and try to uh, disappear for a little while. And always, as always, uh, the magic number four, dropping your smoke, is around 20 knots when you're slowing down. Um, so do keep that in mind. Now I did switch over to AP to continue harassing this galley. Uh, looked like he was showing broadside. And of course he switches back over. Um, probably need to be careful of torpedoes. Um, probably should be expecting those. Uh, yeah, not decent. Not a bad amount of damage right there. Uh, but he should go down to the uh meal burton okay was not expecting that was expecting those torpedoes to actually land uh now our friendly uh graspe is being very aggressive uh comes around the corner to a war spy and a enemy graspe uh so yeah i'm i'm being careful here i'm trying to push up a little bit further into my smoke and we get hit by the friendly omaha uh, fortunately, we do have damage control, and of course, of course, he instantly sets us on fire. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and slow up. He does apologize, so I will grant him that. Um, at least he was aware of his actions and does apologize. Um, I do comment in chat. It's alright. Just be careful. Uh, it, it does happen. Uh, sometimes you get over enthusiastic about your targets, and you just open up, um, but unfortunately for him, he just goes ahead and charges uh, this war spite and this grass spray, uh, as well as I believe there's a Pensacola. Yeah. Um, yeah, it didn't last too long. Uh, I feel somewhat bad. I believe he just kind of pushed out due to the fact that uh, he did open up against us. Uh, so our smoke has dissipated and I am going to be careful. Now our friendly independence. What? is happening now the enemy independence just charges outwards and now the friendly and the independence charges outward i really don't know why i don't think he was paying attention i think he was just constantly moving and this is something you do have to keep in mind when you are playing uh as a carrier uh that you need to 
uh, be aware of your positioning. Uh, right now, I'm gonna actually gonna push out. I'm gonna I'm hoping to save this independence. Uh, I do have a smoke screen available, uh, but there is a enemy Fabuki that is charging out. And of course, as soon as every player sees a CV, they're like, mine, mine, mine. They try to get that kill. They just become carrier crazy. Uh, and of course, is going to go down uh, here very, very shortly. And that Fubuki has uh, obviously opened up. And of course, someone else takes the kill from us. Uh, Independence, once again, is just charging outward. And yep, there are the Fubuki torpedoes. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, CV. Nice, nice of you to join us. So. The Belfast is a very fun ship. Um, I'm actually really enjoying her. I think once I get my Neptune Captain uh, built up, I will probably do the Captain skills a little bit differently. Uh, possibly get IFHE as well as possibly Demolition Expert uh, just to get that uh, HE damage and fire chance up a little bit more. Uh, so there is that. Obviously, this is going to be a different from what you would normally see for Belfast Captain. Obviously my Neptune is on it. And we earn high caliber there. Very, very nice. Now we are starting to cap. Uh, there is only a Grass Bay and a War Spite still on the enemy team. Um, hoping AP would actually penetrate his side armor, but it does not look like that's to be the case. Let's, let's switch over to HG uh, and hopefully just burn him down. It's possible that we could actually cit citadel him uh, if he was a little bit closer, uh, but unfortunately at 10 kilometers, it does not look like uh, we're able to actually penetrate his citadel armor, which is unfortunate, but it is all right. But right now I'm going to go ahead and actually throw it in reverse and try to prevent capping. I actually kind of want to get more damage uh, because we are doing quite well on damage, 126,000 uh, don't really know what this war spike captain is doing. Another fire on the uh, Grush Bay. Uh, war spike just went down, and all that's left on the enemy team is this Grush Bay burning quite nicely with two fires. And can we get the kill? That would be nice. Kill number two. There we go. Kill number two. So overall, I like the Belfast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump to the victory screen. But anyways, this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zaijin.